Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to add a multiple filter in Power Query in a single step. So if you notice I have added these diagrams I mean the logos here it means we are going to use all these functionality inside to these applications. Just for information if you haven't seen that I just launched a video about that please go and check out that video as well. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I am into Power Query in Power BI Desktop. Okay, this is a dummy file uh, which the sample data I have it here. It is just customer ID, name and phone number. Usually when you want to filter in Power Query, so what we do, we just click on this column name, whether it is name or date or ID and then go to text filter if it is the name and we select only any of these options and then we can make an any input entry for us whatever we want to do here and then that's it right like this and then click ok this is how we are usually doing it here so that is what I have also done it here it uh, filtered it row and the customer ID should be greater than 1. So this is what I have done it here. Now if I want to filter any filtration on the name column for an example in another column I can just click on here and then add contains only s. I want to keep the name only coming from s. If it is yes then it gives me 0 here and because both the name has contains yes in that case if I select J here power query is a case sensitive so you make sure you enter it correctly here I need to add S in a capital now I can see S here same if I go back to this one and if I zoom this here I have Jim and Sam the S here is a capital one that is why initially it was not filtered for me and now if I change it to capital S it is working here so power query is a case sensitive that we should always keep in mind so here if you look at this one it is adding a two different steps here right rows filtered rows and filtered rows one so basically what it does is power query will do this transformation first and then it goes to this one this is an additional process right and as this is a static table so the native query is not here but if you are using it as SQL Server or something else and I believe this one native query will be enabled for this step also so you may not have any issues with that but in case if you are using an Excel or flat file or any other data source which doesn't support native query in that case you may have some kind of small glitch of a performance impact because we are filtering it in two different steps so it has to load one step and then it has to do the second process so that is why I thought to add these two filtration into one single step itself. So for that there is no direct option here in the user interface. You just need to do a little bit work around in the M language. As a part of advanced series of Power Query, so I am covering these topics here. So if I click on this one, the another table which I have here and if I go to this advanced editor, what it does is just added one additional information so right now this was the one which is added initially and then I just type and after that not text contains name equal to J so I just don't want to show the name of the people which start from which contains capital J so this is basically what I have written here if you don't know the M query language don't worry about that I will tell you the easy way how you can do that so like this here I just added one more filter here on the previous table so I have got this information about is text contains this one and if I change this here if I click on the gear icon it will open up the pop-up window and then if I change here does not contain to J capital J and click on OK right this gives me this information and if I click on advanced editor of this one here I got this option as table dot select rows and then each not text contains name dot j name equal to j so you can just copy this one 
no need to worry about any m code you can just copy but try to understand how things work and then click cancel go to this multiple filter table and then go to advanced editor and after the first step here i just added and and then added this value that's it and then close the bracket just to end this one so let me zoom this one i just added and symbol here and text and then i added this one which i have just copied here that's it and click on done so now power query itself it has only one filter and inside to that it has a multiple filters this is cool right so this is how you can able to add multiple filters in power query and it's an useful thing so you make sure you use these features whenever you develop something else in power query and if you want to do multiple filters you can do it in a single step itself if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video